welcome back to another bullet journal video and i'm so super excited for this one it means we're doing spookies and i have everything sketched out i think it's really cute i i did like a pretty simple little like easy design for october but pumpkin themed which means we get to use the markers that i never use like all the cool orangey things which are super cute and fun um i got my swatch card here and my liners and my journal and we're gonna work on that but first look what i got I have to make a bullet journal, uh, not a bullet journal, a bulletin board at school for co-op and so I'm literally at home painting these cards so it's like nice because the sharpies don't work on this paper. Also the sharpie was like dead so I had to paint it and now it's painted thanks to me. And this bulletin board is going to be so cute and I'll show it to you at some point. I love it so much. It's so cute. It's so cute. Um, it's like star theme and it's yellow, purple, and blue. It's it's great. It's amazing and I love it so much. But yeah. Anyways, we're gonna get into bullet journaling now. So I will see you after. I'll see you after after we we do this. pages I forgot to actually color in so that's what we're gonna do really quick but um while I do this <laughs> sorry I'm sorry I'm, I'm still getting over being sick so I'm like I don't know my throat is not having it today and neither is my nose but what else is new um so yeah I thought I would talk a little bit because other than my vlogs, I feel like I don't really get to talk, so we're gonna talk about October really quick. Um, basically in September, I figured out that I'm trying to keep to like a specific schedule where I'm doing this this week and this this week and this this week for posting isn't really my jam. I'm not very good at it and things aren't flexible like that so <clears throat> instead we are going to just kind of roll with it see what happens um i currently don't have like a posting schedule on tiktok or instagram i just kind of post whenever which is both good and bad because sometimes i forget about it for a week and sometimes i post all the time and it's like you need a balance there, so I've got to figure that one out a little bit more, I think. Um, I wanted to do something where I was posting, like, um, something every day of the week, except for, like, Saturdays and something like that, because um, I thought that would keep it simple without being, like, crazy, so... We'll see if that actually happens 
um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's it's hard. Um, and then when you get thrown curveballs like getting sick, that just really throws everything off because that's that's kind of what threw off my scheduling and everything since getting sick. I've been a little like off because I haven't had my normal schedule for a while, which sucks to say the least. Um, Cause I, I really love posting and like, I have nothing wrong with posting. Like there is nothing that I love more than my content. But with like senior um, school stuff, like it's, it gets to be a lot and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that now we try, like for the first week or something, I will try like posting on a, a set basis and see how that works for me. Um, if it works, great, and we'll probably keep it that way. Um, if it doesn't work, then we'll try to find something else that does work. Um, cause yeah, it's, it's a little like weird if I'm not, if I'm not on a schedule, then I'm not like thinking about it the same. But anyways, I got everything colored now, I think. And I, this, this theme is really, really simple. Like you can tell by the cover of it. Like I just don't have a lot going on this month. Um, I want it to be a little calmer so it's less overwhelming. So then I feel like I can actually go into my journal and like work on things. So this is the calendar. I put it at the front this time again, just I'm still testing out to see what works best for me, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> first two weeks I have together in just like a big spread with the pumpkins. It's super cute. I love, I love the simplistic fall bullet journals. I think they're like adorable. My favorite thing in the world. Um... And then this one is like a pumpkin patch, which I thought about adding like vines between the pumpkins, which looking at it on camera, it, it might need that, but I don't know. Um, and I, I literally kept it at that because that's all that I really use out of this. And the workload this year has been nothing. So I literally didn't even need a whole bunch from my last spread. So yeah, um, I'm gonna take thumbnail pictures and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm sorry that this feels like such a, so a short video and like I did this all like in the time lapse. So there wasn't really all that much to it, but I really love this spread and I, I'm really gonna enjoy it. Um, October feels like a really great month um, and these videos always feel so short that I thought that it might be fun if we added something else to it, kind of like in the reset vlogs, um, how we have like, sorry, just need to move that back a little, um, how we have like things that we do in the reset vlogs always, and that's all great. Um, so I wanted to add something to this, this video. And I wanted, where did it go? Here it is. <laughs> I wanted to try doing tarot in these. Um, as we start off a new month, I like to do a monthly tarot reading about it, which I might pull an oracle as well. Um, but yeah, I thought this could be some fun way to like, um, make these videos longer because I feel like they're kind of boring, they're just kind of there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do some tarot. Um, this is the deck I am using. I, I absolutely love this deck. 
um i think it's so pretty it comes with the book the like guidebook for different interpretations of the cards and it's it's just nice um and the cards are really pretty oh three cups is what we're showing off here today i guess i don't know i love these cards they're gorgeous um and this is my first deck so it's pretty special to me i guess but yeah okay we are gonna ask about the month of october we're gonna do our, our october monthly reading so we're just gonna here let me angle this down so you can actually see what i'm doing don't mind the signs in the background oh you can't see what i'm doing hang on let's go I'll get there eventually. Okay. We're just gonna do a quick shuffle. About the month of October. I'll pull this up in a second, but. Okay. I'm gonna start by looking at these. Oh wow. Oh wow wow. Wow wow wowie. Okay. Let's go back up for this so we can finish asking. Um can I have an overview of the month of October for me, please? Overview of the month of October. What is the overall feeling of October going to be? October Cards are not feeling jumpy today. Okay. Overview of the month of October. There we go. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. Let's start reading these. So, okay. First, we have the Hierophant. The King of Swords and the Six of Swords. So I'm gonna read the Six of Swords really quickly. Uh, transitioning progress, moving to calmer waters. You might be reaching the end of a difficult period, which take form in the, mini in the ending of a painful relationship, the desire to leave the past behind, or healing. May also have significant travel, escaping or running away. You might feel deflated coming through this tough time, but will stay in touch with your intuition and inner guidance and will emerge victorious. That's pretty interesting, actually. Um, King of... Okay, my throat's been bobbing me all day, so I don't know if that's this, but like I'm... I don't know throat chakra stuff might mental clarity judge situations with irrational thinking and the hierophant is right it's kind of a decision maker, like Sorry, stuff is going on downstairs and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, Wheel of Fortune is very lucky, like things are just kind of I don't know. Um, and then the four of swords is like 
kind of painful, I guess. Let me read specifics. Um, yeah. Take things easy. Just kind of let it happen. Yeah. So this is kind of letting this luck happen on its own. And like, decisions already been made. Like you've already kind of, you're entering in with that decision already. Okay. This is for me, but if this resonates with you, feel free. Feel free to take it, I mean. Take it or leave it, but. Hey, yeah. hello. Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning. Um, pentacles usually means materialistic abundance, like money type of thing. So it could be a new job. Oh, I'll be starting co-op. My co-op placement will be starting in October. Okay, that's interesting. Um, okay, can I please get um, a card about my co-op? The world. The world. Okay, let me read if it has any specific mention of prosperity stuff um th this the card is like um accomplishing goals and like you made it type of card so i guess it's like you got it like you got the job you got it you're you're doing great so Maybe it's something like that. I don't know. I always feel like that's um, similar to the magician. Like your manifestations are actually like coming true, and like you're you're doing really good, which makes sense with the wheel of fortune, the luck. Like really, really doing good. This book. That's wholesome. Wow, that is so sweet and wholesome. Okay, let's ask about. Okay, my, you're gonna laugh at this one, but love, because I, I do this every month. Um, can I have an overview of what love looks like in October for me? October love prediction, please. Oh, hello. One more. There it is. Okay, we got the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. This is the one that I was laughing at. Um, the cat, which Maya will, will understand the, the cat reference. I, I hope you understand the cat reference. You better understand the cat reference, because the cat. Anyways, Three of Pentacles. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, Maya knows the whole situation. How much do I want to say? Okay, okay. So this is talking about um, collaborating and like achieving success and like coming together. Literally it says, um, the skills are now coming together. I just was scanning it and saw coming together. So there's that. Um, Efforts are paying off. Basically, this is like a collaborative thing and screw it. Okay. Um, in English class, there's this boy and we're starting, um, we're starting book club soon. And I had this feeling that we would be grouped together, which we haven't found out, but it is our we're doing yet like what our books are yet so we don't know if we're together or not but um if we are in the same group the plan has always been to ask for an instagram or something and like some form of communication but yeah <laughs> this, this just really kind of reminded me of that um Queen of Wands, which queens are always good news because they're the romantics of 
that. Um, oh, 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 <laughs> just let you, let you read that really quickly. I don't know how well you can see that. Pause if you want to read that, but. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take off the audio for this part just because I'm gonna use his name in it. But yeah. Um. Okay, <laughs> so I asked if we're gonna be at the same book club, right? Lovers. Okay, um, that popped out last. Ace of Cups. New relationship card. Um, Queen of Pentacles is the queen. I mean, like I said before, the queens are the romantics of the suit. Um, wealthy. It, this one's talking about success and wealthy. Making your home welcoming for guests. Anyways, uh, then the emperor, which <laughs> the emperor is like high and mighty. He is stability he is self-discipline setting your own rules and boundaries what have I always said about that class that class you just make up your own rules you make up your own ah, I've been saying this since day one of that class Decision and the Empress, which, what did we just get? The Emperor. The Emperor and the Empress go together. They... Yeah, okay. Okay, let me just read specifics about the situation because these often relate back to specific, yeah. Yeah, new opportunity, romance, art, business, <laughs> okay. And the Two of Pentacles is a decision that's like, you have two choices, you're about to make a decision. So... Yes, that that feels like a yes to my question, which, oh my god. Maya's screaming at this right now because she knows the whole situation and this is a situation. Anyways, um, <laughs> um, we're gonna ask about final messages for the month of October. Any final messages about October for me? The Six of Cups. Six of Cups. She looks like she's doing her makeup. Like, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from her. Oh. Childhood related. I don't know what that means. Maybe I'm like feeling much more grown up and like I'm kind of reminiscing about being like a child or whatever. Maybe? Anyways, okay, for sure souls. That that's that's a thing that's a thing on its own that's a whole thing uh, anyways um thank you spirit for the cards guys wow anyways that was interesting for me i hope it was interesting for you and if not i'm so sorry <laughs> but 
that's fun. I kind of like that we did that. Felt personal, felt, felt intimate, felt cute. I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.